Today we're going to talk about five things that's making you slower as a runner. So one of the big things out here as a runner is the harder you work, the better you're going to be and the faster you're going to be. And that is such a big misconception. As a matter of fact, this is how you should be training as an athlete if you're trying to improve. You want less volume, you want more quality work, you want faster reps near 100%. So for example, you're going to do, so for example, you go to the track and you're going to do a 90 second run, right? You don't want to do a 90 second run with 90 second rest. You want to do a 90 second run with close to max with 20 minutes rest in between. Then you move on to the next exercise. So less is better quality is better and that's what you want to focus on as an athlete next thing we're going to talk about here that's making you slower is not tracking guys as an athlete as a runner you need to be tracking you need to know where you are in order to know where you are you have to track your your, your runs track how you're resting track the times you're running track everything track 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 that's the way to improve if you're not tracking you're not going to know where you are the coach is tracking but if even if you have a coach and the coach is tracking and you yourself are not tracking you're not going to know where you are so you want to make sure that you're tracking your reps tracking your sets tracking how you feel write everything down this will give you an indication of where you are and how fast you can run third thing that's making a lot of runners slower or not running fast enough is not doing enough plyometrics Right? A big thing out here is that people think that plyometrics is just when you do some bounding or you do a lot of like some box jumps. Drills are also plyometrics. So as a sprinter or runner, you want to make sure you're incorporating running drills, sprint drills into your training every day. Right? Low impact plyometrics and you want to progress that over the season. So for example, me, I would have a I would have low impact plyometrics every day where i'm doing drills bounding and stuff like that then i will have a specific day where i'm doing isometric drills where i'm jumping landing and stopping right where i'm planting and trying to jump as high as i can like stuff like that that's going to help so introduce more plyometrics into your training the fourth thing that's making a lot of runners slower is not having a proper strength training program right a lot of athletes and runners most like runners don't even strength train Right? A lot of athletes and runners do not understand how to structure strength training for running and, and sprinting because it's different when you're strength training just for like bodybuilding or you're just a regular guy just trying to strength train. But if you're trying to strength train, build strength so you could run faster, you have to know how to structure. So one of the big things is when is the best time of the year to do squats, right? What type of squats should you be doing? Stuff like that. So you need to be a student of the sport, learn about the sport, learn from me, right? I'm out here, I'm giving this information away for free. So tune into my channel, look at the stuff I'm doing because it's specific for runners. And the last thing to top it off guys, that's making most runners slow is not focusing on technique work. And what I mean by this is, are you doing drills? Are you doing enough drills? Are you focusing on learning how to run correctly? Proper running mechanics, how to swing your arms, foot placement, how to put your foot in the ground, hip placement. I could go on for days about the things that most runners are not doing. Again, if you like this type of content, stay tuned. I have more informative videos coming your way. And guys, thank you for the support. Thank you for everything that you guys have been doing to push my channel out there. Continue to push me out, guys, because guess what happened? The information I'm giving you is real. I'm a runner. I'm not just a bodybuilder or a gym person. I am an actual two-time Olympian in training right now for my third Olympics and showing you guys how it's done and dropping all the necessary tips to help you guys. And if you don't know, my first Olympics, I coached myself to that Olympics. My second Olympics, I had one of the best coaches in America for the 400 meter hurdles coaching me. And now I'm after my third Olympics, 34 years old, and I'm coaching myself again. And this is what gave me the drive to try to learn and try to pass this information out to you guys, because this is the information I didn't get, right? And I'm trying to give you guys this information. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you for subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next video.